Uh, hello, today I am going to. Hi guys, today I am here to install a TW Apple Recovery in my J2S mobile and it also mainly works in the J2 Prime phones. For that, first you have to know what is your phone model and first you have to see that it is a J2S or not otherwise it may not work and you may blame me for not working it in your phone so be careful about that as we have already headed in the settings and in settings we have gone to about phone which is in the last option and there you can see JTS and from there you have to uh, Press the build number option more than five six times, and there you can see it has been done, and the developer option has been unlocked. After that, go back, and you can see and flip it all down, and there you can see developer option. In the developer option, you have to do two things one is OEM unlock for boot. Uh, to be worked and another is USB debugging as you know I, I have done USB debugging as well as unlock now it is ready the phone is ready you can see the phone is ready you can go back and that's all where you can see the both option working in the phone it is about the phone now we are heading towards the computer or laptop whatever you use that does not matter but you have to have a computer there in the computer or laptop what you use there go to Odin where you have downloaded the Odin and you have may put your Odin then download in anywhere from there just pick it up and after that you can open the Odin for that click on the option and this day appears and press yes and then there you can see the odin has been opened in this way we can open the odin after opening the odin the another thing that is after opening the odin here you can see the open odin window and the odin window here you have seen various types of options in the window that will help you in the boot there are various process or uh, cost one can really flash the stock firmware also by using this one it, it is very helpful in various recovery or various customization option as well as to install the stock recovery of a phone now we are heading towards the phone in the phone there you have to first power off your phone after the phone is powered off there are three buttons first is power button and the second is home button and the third is volume down button you have to press all three buttons at a time i am also pressing three buttons at a time because i am holding camera with my own phone and i'm doing this with another phone here you can see that the download mode has appeared and in the download mode we have to press the volume up button to go to the download mode actually okay yes as we have been in the download mode and the work for a mobile has been done then the another thing is to do is have to put your usb cable in the phone and join the other end of the usb cable to your laptop or computer now go to your phone yes you, you can see after you connect the phone to the computer there you can see in the wooden a blue light blue ray yes here you can see the blue ray came goes and it, it is the signal that you, the computer has read your phone 
this it is very necessary in that situation then then you have to go to the second option in the pda and from there go to your folder where you have put the title wipe recovery and select the recovery twrp where you have yes i have here and i am going to select it as i have selected the twrp recovery after selecting you have to consider other thing also in the order there you have to know or you have to have to see whether the auto reboot is unchecked or not you have to uncheck you have to be we have to make that blank after making that blank you can start the process after starting you can see in the desktop as well as in the phone that it has been done now you have to unplug the usb cable and then you have to pick out the battery from your phone for that go to and unplug the cover of the phone and then pick out the battery after picking out the battery again put it back then then you have to press the three buttons home button power button and the volume up button to go to the recovery option yes you can see in the samsung galaxy phone there in the top there appears the icon the recovery option there are various types of mode the install and there is wipe and various types of option you can find in the recovery as tdlr recovery and there is option for um, system download power off and here you have to recover also and there you have to go to the system to go back as uh, to the mobile phone or to the system that is in your phone go to the system okay now your phone is booting to the system which is in your phone or to in a normal way to the face here you can see the samsung logo it has been coming and it will open as usual you open your phone as usual the phone has been opened it is going to open okay it has my phone has less battery life i think now it is done now open the phone okay the phone has opened in this way twrp recovery has been installed the proof of which will be here i will show you yes see here there is at the last there is a twrp recovery option which was not there previously in this way we have seen that the twrp recovery has been installed in this phone now you can install the custom recovery to install custom recovery in j2s of greater android version you can and see my other videos which will help you to install the other custom rooms so at last please like share comment as well as subscribe my channel thank you very much